what's up guys today we're going to be doing the best nokia phone so let's go ahead and get started so the best high-end nokia phone i'm going to give it to the nokia 9 pure view i think this is a really excellent phone uh, it's got some crazy cameras on it and so let's go ahead and run down those specs it's got a 5.99 inch display it is an oled display 2880 by 1440 with a resolution of 538 pixels per inch this does have the snapdragon 845 processor and 6 gigabytes of ram so you you do get 128 gigabytes of storage that is non-expandable which is a little disappointing uh, you do get five 12 megapixel cameras which is pretty crazy and a 20 megapixel front facing camera and each camera does uh, different individual functions uh, which is pretty nice uh, so you do have a 3320 milliamp battery uh, which that was a little bigger and you do have Android 9.0 right out of the box so this is an excellent phone a beautiful design and you get five cameras at a pretty uh, great price All Right, next for the best mid-range would be the Nokia 8.1 this is an excellent smartphone uh, it does have a 6.18 inch display it is an IPS LCD panel no OLED uh, this does have a 2160 by 1080 resolution so full HD 420 pixels per inch this is at the Snapdragon 710 processor so you are able to play games like PUBG and pretty much anything in the Google Play Store no problem you do have 4 gigabytes of RAM 64 gigabytes of storage and you can expand that with a micro SD the uh, which will go up to about 400 gigabytes so kind of disappointed they didn't put that in the uh, Nokia 9 uh, but this does have a non removable 3500 milliamp battery so you're gonna get plenty of battery life on top of Android 9.0 uh, which is pretty awesome so I love the design of this the notch is a little big but the bezels are, are pretty slim I've had phones with notches like this did not bother me at all Alright, so the last on the list is for the budget devices. So the Nokia 2.1, I really like. I really like the design. Uh, so it does have a 5.5 inch display, so very compact for people with smaller hands. You do have an HD display, uh, 267 pixels per inch. The Snapdragon 425 processor is decent. Where this phone far short is in the RAM department. One gigabyte of RAM is not going to cut it uh, for most gaming and stuff like that. So you won't be able to do a lot of that uh, multitasking stuff. It's going to be pretty pretty uh, basic stuff on this phone 8 gigabytes of storage you can expand that uh, with a micro SD you do have an 8 megapixel rear and a 5 megapixel front facing camera uh, where this phone shines it's got a 4000 milliamp battery so you're getting excellent battery life and this does have Android 8.1 Oreo the go edition uh, which is going to be optimized for the hardware uh, so that's pretty much it thanks for watching I will catch you guys in the next one